you too. What's happening? It's your boy Get Him G's 803, and I'm back bringing y'all another NBA 2K15 Shoe Creator How To video. And today, we got another subscriber requested video. He wanted me to make the Air Jordan 11, and he, he sent me a picture on Facebook. It's black and red. So, we're going to call this the Air Jordan 11 Dirty Bread colorway because it's black and red, but it doesn't have. I mean, um, once I change the logo, it's going to have some white, so it's not the breads, but. It's the Dirty Bread colorway, so let's get it. And um, before we kick the video off, he did it the right way, man. He uh, clicked on the link in the description. He liked the Facebook page. He asked me, could he, could I make him this shoe? So everybody, I encourage you to click on that link in the description. It takes you directly to the Facebook page, the Get Em GZ 803 Facebook page. Um, like the page, then send me a message and ask me if I could make it, and I'm pretty sure I haven't, you know, I can make it to the best of my ability. So, therefore, let's jump into it. Without further ado, let's get this shoe done. Here we go. And um, he asked me for the Jordan 6 Olympic, and I had forgot that, you know, I had forgot. I made the Jordan 6 Olympic a while back. So he sent me this one. He was like, yeah, um, I, I went through the shoe creator playlist, and I haven't seen you make this one. So here it is. Let's jump into it. So the base we going fabric. You're going all black on that one. So what I did was bring my lightness all the way down to zero percent. Outsole, that's going to be red. And what you want to do with this outsole is you want to bring it to about right there to about 22 percent. It's not too bright. It's like it's like real real dark red. So what we're going to do is keep it there. Your saturation is at 100 percent, so you should be good to go. Midsole. What we're gonna do is it's not it's not super black neither. So what you wanna do is just you can either leave it there or you can move it down to like 18% at the most. So we're just gonna leave it at 20%. That way you're good. Alright, so you're shank. Turn your shoe around right that right about to that position right there. And you can you should be able to see your carbon fever. Like my boy Ratchet says, man. Shout out to Ratchet again, man. Shout out to Ratchet, yo. <laughs> Alright, so bring your lightness up to about 50%. And right there, you should be able to see that carbon fever right there. It's looking good, looking good. Alright, so your overlay. We're going um, patent leather on the overlay. I was going to go with the metal patent. I mean, uh, with the pat with the me metal overlay. But I chose this patent leather since it's, you know, a little better. You can see. I mean, it's, it's not your space down, so you can see this one. And um, that's, hey, this is the shoe he wanted. So we're going leather. All right, you can darken that up a little bit, just a tad. You know, you don't want it too dark. Or you can just keep it the same color as your uh, midsole. And you should be, you should still be good to go. So our um, lining, we're going fabric on that. And you can leave that the same color as well. Or you can make it darker. We're just going to leave it that color right there. All right, so we're on our tongue. Just uh, bring your shoe around. We're going fabric on that tongue, and we're going to this last black right there. Same thing with the laces, rubber. We leave them rubber. You can make it whatever material you want, whatever you feels better. That's on you. All right, so our shoe outlet, man. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go fabric on our shoe outlet. Recent colors, and we're choosing. Let's see, we're choosing that that one, that color right there. All right, so our logos, man. We're going fabric on those recent colors and we're choosing that dark red right there that's what you want to do um on the shoe he sent me again you know once you change your jump man one color that changes one color that's actually supposed to stay black instead of red with white lettering but hey you know we work with what we got we work with what we got all right so your logos that's it turn your shoe around to the very back and i'm going fabric on that and what you want to do is you can go to the 76ers team, I mean white, and choose that. And you should be good to go, as you see. Overall looking good, man. So you got you got your red outsole, you got your black overlay, red jump, man, white 23. Hey, I like this shoe, man. Um, hey my man, if you digging the shoe, if you rocking with it, let me know. And if you are, I'm glad I can help you out. Um, once again, y'all, it doesn't take but three seconds to like these videos, and I, like I said before. I'm digging all the support that you guys are giving me. Um, y'all, y'all are the ones who are keeping me pushing with these videos, man. Um, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be where I'm at today, man. I, you know, I'd be stuck, <laughs> stuck at what three subscribers. But 
you know, with the support of you guys and, you know, the likes and everything, I'm getting up there, man. And, you know, I'm very blessed to have you guys behind me looking at these videos and whatever, checking them out. And, um, hey, I just I just hope y'all continue to, you know, feel me, man. I'm going to continue to stay 100 with y'all. So it is what it is. So, hey, if you're in the market for a pair of gaming glasses, look no further than no scope gaming glasses, man. I own a pair myself. And I wouldn't recommend them to you guys, but it wasn't good. These are these glasses are 100% the real deal. Um, with you know, with design and, and the price, you can't beat them, dude. You can't beat them at all. So if you're in the, like I said, if you want a pair of gaming glasses, click on the link in the description and copy a pair of no scope gaming glasses. Um, if you if you cop a pair and you like them, let me know in the comments, man. And that's all I got for you guys today. So until next time, you too. Stay scheming.